What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Constructicon Scrapper. So stick around if you want to know more about Studio Series Constructicon Scrapper. And moving right along, here we have Constructicon Scrapper's box. So let's take a look at that first. On the front of the packaging, you got Scrapper's uh, CGI image. That looks pretty cool. He's number 60 in the series, Studio Series Decepticon Constructicon Scrapper. Age is eaten up by Hasbro from the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen movie, Transformers Generation to Cartomi. On the side of the box, you got another picture of Scrapper. He is a Voyager class figure, Studio Series number 60. On the back of the box, you got another picture of Scrapper when you get him out of the packaging. Looks pretty cool. He is from the Pyramid Desert Battle, Constructicon, Scrapper, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Decepticon. The backdrop is included, and he does have a bio. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video and read it. Okay? He has 36 steps. He is big screen inspired. And on the top of the box, you just got uh, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen there. Uh, then on the very last side of the box, you got uh, a picture of uh, Devastator. And then, instead of the Autobot logo, they got the Devastator logo, so, um, we're finally getting something else other than that stupid Autobot symbol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you got Transformers Authentic, and then just the bottom, warnings, stuff, things we don't really care about. So, yeah. Let's move on to the toy. And here we have Transformers Scrapper in his awesome robot mode. Now, before we even begin to get into the review, I just want to quickly say that we will not be transforming him into his Devastator mode. Just considering, number one, I don't really know how to do it, and uh, number two, it's just going to make this video really long if we do two modes. So, we're just totally going to skip that. We're just going to do what I uh, normally do. I uh, talk about the figure robot mode, talk about it in car mode. That's it. So, yeah. All right. Now, let's move on to the figure. So, here I have Constructicon Scrapper. Yes, like I said a million times. But, yeah, he looks wonderful. This is a really good addition to the Devastator collection. Wow, it is really, really detailed. It looks really similar to what he did up here, uh, what it did look like in the movie, even though he only got, like, two seconds of screen time. But, yeah, he looks really good, really unique, really cool. So, yeah, very nice. Um... There's not much really to talk about. Uh, it just looked really, really good. I love the design. Let's just talk about uh, his head sculpt because that's something I want to talk about. It looks really cool. I actually, I fell in love with that head sculpt. That looks wonderful. Very, very nice head sculpt there. The design, again, looks wonderful. A bunch of hydraulics and stuff. Just really, really cool. Really cool design there. Whoa. <laughs> I was knocked over the camera there. We do not want that. So, yeah. Alright, now, uh, as far as articulation goes, he has quite a bit of it. Uh, he has shoulder rotation, and his shoulder can even rotate like that if you want it to. He, he does have uh, arm, or, yeah, arm rotation, and bicep rotation. And, uh, you got another little mushroom peg here to rotate. You can do full 360 if you wish. And then his little finger claw things here, uh, do open and close, but they are transformation joints, but it still works out, so, nice. Uh, as for his head, his head can look up and down, and his head is on a ball joint, like the individual head is. He can look down, somewhat up, I guess, if you get, push this joint back, he can. Uh, and then he can look side to side, uh, side, and you can also rotate the head all the way around if that really, if you really want to do that. Um, so as for the legs, you got leg rotation, knee rotation, uh, not really, it can move backwards a little bit, but it can't really go forward that much. Uh, and it is on a mushroom peg, so you can kind of do uh, this if you really want it to, to do that. And that's kind of it for articulation. Uh, as far as I know, there is no waist rotation. I just got this figure, so I'm still kind of exploring with it. But as of, as I know, as of now, I do not think there is waist rotation on this guy, unfortunately. But yeah, cool. So, uh, like I said, uh, when we were reviewing the box, he is a Voyager class figure, so we need to do size comparison. Here he is, two Transformers Studio Series. Movie one, Iron Hide. Literally just got this guy today. So, yeah, no, I just had to do a size comparison with him. We will be reviewing him soon. I just gotta figure out how to transform him. <laughs> so, yeah, nice. Here he is next to Transformers Studio Series, Revenge of the Fallen. Mix Master. Let's see how that works. Uh, he's kind of big, so here we go. Nice. Now, I do have Constructicon Scrapper, or sorry, <laughs> that's the one we're reviewing. I do have Constructicon uh, Scavenger, 
but I did not feel like taking him off the shelf because he's extremely hard to pose back up on the shelf after you take him down. So all I can tell you is he's probably about the same size as Scavenger, even though Scavenger is a leader class figure. In terms of height, he is nearly as tall as Scavenger. So yeah, nice. So that is nearly it for robot mode, I believe. So I think it is about time to get into his uh, weird um, excavator mode. Uh, but there are just a few more things uh, that we need to do. Uh, just remembered them. <laughs> I almost forgot like half the review here. I'm sorry. Um, first is accuracy. Now, um, again, didn't really have much screen time in the movie, but here is a picture of Scrap uh, Scrapper. Um, at least what he looked like in the movie. And here is the Studio Series toy. You can see how accurate he looks. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. And very, very last thing is the backdrop. You can take it out of the box, like always. And just play. Oh, boy. It's stuck. Come on. There we go. All right. So now you can just display him if you want. Just like normal. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> so yeah, you got that option. So there you go. Okay, now it is time for the transformation. Now obviously I gotta rate it. How hard is it? Um, it's not too bad. I say, uh, at least I say that his legs are a little bit fiddly, but um, it's not awful once you get the hang of it. But we'll just go ahead and do it. As of that, uh, I'm just gonna give it a four. It is not hard, but his legs do kind of give it kind of a yeah. You have to push it past some stuff. It's just really not fun. But otherwise, the transformation is fun other than the legs. So, yeah, let's just get into it. So, the first thing I like to do is to make his hands. Do that. Yep. All right. Then take his hand, take his little fingers here, and just rotate it back like that. And then you can just leave him like that for now. Now, what you want to do, take the section here, rotate it down, and take this, and collapse it into here. Click. Then close this back up. And now you want to come to the backpack and swing it up like, oh, <laughs> wait a second. You got to untap the arms, take these and just untap the arms like that. Then rotate this up like that. And then you can take the little cab and just kind of rotate it down like that. Now what you want to do is flip this piece up like that. And then collapse the legs together like this. There you go. All right, now we can move on to his back. I'm going to take the arms here and just collapse them down like so. Rotate his arms here, go like that, and just collapse him down. Now the cab, uh, he just rotates up and tabs into his arms like this. Hang on one second, gotta get him all together here. Oh boy, come on. Ugh, this is another kind of a hard part, is getting the cab all lined up with all of the um, arms and stuff, because I hate doing this part. <laughs> So, yeah, hang on. So, yeah, there you go. Tab in the arms, then tab in the cap, and then you should have this. Uh, yeah, uh, and just for the record, get this out of the way here. It's uh, his combining part. And you want to turn him into Devastator. Just going to move that out of the way, because that will get in the way of his legs. So just push that up. That is quite tight, by the way. It's on a rack and show you, but whatever. Uh, so now you can just take the arms and rotate them together. And then this little section here, just rotate it down like that. <clears throat> Take his arm, uh, legs and just kind of run him down. I rotate him down like that for now. Now take this, rotate it up like that. His arms might come undone, but that's not too bad. And now you want to tab in this to that hole there. And there you go. And then you want to fold this down like so. And now take his legs, rotate them back like so. Untab them like that. Take this section, rotate it down. And then you just want to... Uh, get, get, go down to his foot. Take it and just untab it like that. Stretch it out. And now you can just rotate his leg all the way down like this. Uh, sorry, his wheel. Like that. And the uh, scooper part just kind of rotates upwards like this. And the wheel tabs into the back. Right there. <clears throat> like that. And then you want to just rotate his foot down like that. And it tabs in right there. Let's see if we can get it together. There we go. All right. Same thing on the other side. So there you go. And now I'll make sure everything is tabbed into place, nice and solid. And here we have Transformers Studio Series Constructicon Scrapper in his uh construction construction vehicle mode. 
So nice. Uh, this looks pretty cool, actually. This is uh, a very nice figure. Uh, I, I, I gotta be honest with you, this is kind of unrealistic in my opinion. I have never really seen one of these uh, scoop trucks look like this, but I'm just gonna pretend that it does exist and it does look like this. So I'm just gonna say it looks pretty accurate. Uh, com compared to what I've seen, it looks pretty accurate, but I have never seen this model before, so I can't really tell you if it, this is just like textbook perfect, but... I don't know if you guys have seen this in real life, or even if it does exist in real life, you guys can probably figure that out yourself. Now, one problem I did have with this figure is the back wheels do not tab in that well. That could just be my figure, but they really just do not tab in that well. They, In fact, they almost don't even tab in at all. They're just super easy to remove. This one is a little bit more solid, but this one is just not wanting to go in. Um... That's kind of an issue, um, so yeah. Another thing is, uh, the claw, this little scoop section here on mine does not tab in that well as well, um, does not tab in as well, just like the wheels, I guess. Um, eventually you can tab this in, but it is definitely a little bit difficult. And also the arm here, just like right now, it does not also like to tab in. So the tabs, they, they're, they, they're, <laughs> they are a little weak. But is this a good figure, and should you buy it? Yes. Uh, and honestly, if you're just in it to get the Devastator like I am, yeah, just, you know, get him. I don't, it doesn't really matter about the individual figures, because I'm honestly in for the Devastator. I don't care as much about the individual figures as much as I do Devastator. As long as Devastator looks good and can pose well, I'm okay. So, yeah. Uh, but as for rolling, he does roll really, really well. Like, that is very, very smooth. I like that a lot. That is very nice. Uh, for vehicle comparison, here he is next to uh, a very random Transformer. But here he is next to uh, Ectotron, GameStop exclusive. Like I said, when we hit 20 subscribers, we will be reviewing this one. We are so close, man. We are like 19 subscribers. Just one more, and we'll review this one. So, yeah. Yay! <laughs> we can do it. Just one more subscriber, and we'll review Ectotron there. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, and here he is next to Transformer Studio Series, Clunker Bumblebee. And last but not least, here he is next to Transformer Studio Series, Sideswipe. Nice. So yeah, very nice. <laughs> so, one funny thing about this figure is, apparently everybody thinks this is Bumblebee. I don't know why. At least in my house, anyways. In my house, everybody will just see this guy on the shelf or just anywhere, and they'll be like, oh, hey, that's Bumblebee. I'm like, no, this is Scrapper. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't really know why I said that on camera, but whatever. It's just, I don't I don't know why. I just kind of feel like saying that. I, I don't know why people think this looks like uh, Bumblebee, but, hey, it is, it's, it's, it is yellow. I mean, it is yellow. So, I can see where they're going with this, but, yeah, I mean, they said that it looks like Bumblebee. So, um, yeah, nice. Very interesting. So, yeah. Cool. Now, the vehicle actually does have some articulation. Um, the scoop thing can uh, rotate up like that, and that's about as far as it can go, but it can rotate it like that. Very, very nice. So, yeah, there you have that. And I believe that is almost it for uh, vehicle mode, as far as I know. So, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's just a really good figure. Now, like I said, the only complaint is the tabs are a little weak. Again, that could just be mine, but again, it just... I'm not sure. I don't own two scrappers, so, uh, I would just be considered, uh, I heard, sorry, <laughs> careful, uh, when buying this figure, that the tabs may be a little weak, but otherwise, this is pretty good. I, I really do like this figure. Uh, so nice. There you go. Thank you so much for watching this toy review. It really means a lot that you take the time to stop by my channel and watch the content. If you consider liking and subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. We are trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can help me reach that goal, that will be greatly appreciated as well. And also share the channel with somebody that you may uh, know that likes Transformer or any other toy line. That will also be greatly appreciated. And also we are at 19 subscribers. And we are so close to 20. If we can just get one more subscriber, that will be greatly appreciated. Like I said, when we hit 20, we will be reviewing Ectotron. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.